Hi viewers, today we are going to have an interesting topic, hospital music therapy. Because we all know that music therapy is a very important subject, particularly for those people who have physical, physiological, psychological and emotional problems. So hospital is the right place where music therapy can be performed in the same way several interve interventions take place. In fact, this is not a new concept, although it appears it's a very new concept and many people have started using it in the hospital. But this is an age-old tradition and we have got recorded history uh, of Arabs. In the 13th century, they had a special music room in all their hospitals. So dedicated to music listening and music performance by the patients, by the inmates of the hospital. And uh, we also have a statistics today before me that about 2 million people actually uh, have received music therapy services around the world in the year 2019. So that means you can say the infection caused by music therapy in recent times. Then we have these uh, hospitals, many hospitals which have dedicated facilities for music therapy in the West and particularly in the United States of America. Uh, there is a mention of Children's Hospital at University of California, San Francisco and also in another Mattel Children's Hospital, Onis Benioff Children's Hospital at San Francisco and Mattel Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, uh, in California, University of California, they have these facilities, dedicated facilities. And many hospitals, even in India, are showing a lot of interest. And then there's another center for music therapy is working as a free consultation service for those nursing homes and hospitals who need our specialist advisors. So with this, I start this um, talk today. And actually, when we talk about hospitals, we must also know what are the musical needs in today's hospitals. What are the musical needs in today's hospitals? So I have actually jotted down the nine uh, points based on the studies made by Nada Center for Music Therapy. And basically what the, the needs uh, arise in the realms of physical and psychological conditions because naturally when a person has got very poor condition of health then he has to be shifted to the hospital normally he is at home so the moment you say there is a patient in the hospital means you can jolly well presume that his physical and psychological conditions are not very good and they may be deteriorating or weak or they may be serious and probably he needs certain support, medical support. And along with medical support, in the recent years, the emotional support is also enhanced through music and music therapy. So the basic reason for including music therapy in the hospital atmosphere is to give emotional support. And why? Because most of the patients who are admitted in these hospitals suffer from loneliness and boredom. The first of all, they face loneliness and boredom. And for, to meet this requirement in the West, you know, there has been arrangements um, even from the World War days when the 
veterans were convalescing in uh, uh, their bivouacs in the army bivouacs. Uh, then many active music therapy groups, the local groups went and gave certain musical performance and that's how music therapy was born in America. Then secondly, there is a need in hospital because uh, most of the patients who join the hospital, they suffer from fear, suspense regarding their treatment and certain hopelessness whether I would be all right after this treatment, whether I would go back home. All those worries are there. And to overcome this in many, many hospitals, there are facilities available. That there is in-situ music that is with through earphones, you know, certain music light liked by the patient and also recommended by a trained music therapist is imparted uh, at, pre at prescribed time, mostly three times a day along with breakfast, lunch and dinner. Maybe more sometimes. Then you also have the fourth um, issue, the musical need, that is ang anxiety. Anxiety is prevalent particularly in pre-operative wards. Uh, People who are to be taken for the operation, they are placed in a pre-operative ward and there the anxiety level is very high and they are, all, they are usually treated with medicines such as Prozac, Soloft, Chelexa and so many things and uh, which have which do have side effects and uh, it's better that uh, they are avoided by replacement of good music maybe partially or fully and uh, many hospitals uh, do this partial uh, sort of uh, reduction of chemical drugs by including music as a medicine then there is a problem caused by pain and trauma because pain and trauma is inevitable more so in pre in post operative wards that is after the intervention is over the person becomes very weak and then um, he experiences pain bodily pains and also sometimes emotional trauma and it is here, this, uh, it is here in these post-operative wards, uh, there is an essential requirement of music as a medicine. In fact, a, a study was conducted in 2017 and they found uh, that after every spinal surgery done, uh, a 30-minute music th therapy session was imparted was given to the patients who had undergone spinal surgery and they had reported tremendous reduction in pain and uh, we can also say that there are people suffering from cancer and they are in cancer ward undergoing treatment sometimes very difficult treatments very painful treatments and they do need music therapy and uh, when music is given to them, they are able to overcome the need of uh, uh, drugs, you know, which have a lot of side effects. Then, of course, um, we have problems of sleep disorders and particularly among the elderly population uh, who are the patients. And then there, you know, normally people uh, administer pink noise, you know, Yes, sort of um, mm, relaxing tones and tunes which help them to get into sleep and uh, normally uh, even there are certain ragas you know Indian ragas uh, then they call it the first quarter of the night you know the ragas which are given for the first quarter of the early early night like Durga, Hamir and Kamaj 
and also there are ragas which are given the second quarter sahana bahar jay jay vanti bhagashri kannada kafi etc etc and also there is a very beautiful raga south indian raga called nilambari which is often used um, uh, in day for the day time to induce sleep uh, and also all these ragas one thing is to be taken care of that is the decibels or volume should be less and also the tempo should be slow you know in fact there is a growing evidence scientific evidence that the tempo uh, to the tune of 60 bpm you know uh, the scientists have found neurologists have found that they are very conducive for inducing sleep uh, so the composition should be done at say 60 bpm to 70 bpm and things like that so that you know the uh, the mental sort of uh, activity is reduced you know and also there are repeated sort of uh, tones we have found that in indian music we have uh, certain repetitions of melodies which are always um, there and they they are helpful actually in these ragas if they are repeated repeatedly they are done then the person gets into sleep very quickly maybe out of boredom i don't know maybe that yes because the mind refuses to sort of uh, pocket the boredom so you know it 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 uh, prefers to go for a sleep rather than being active and um, of course um, a tremendous relaxation impact is promised by music therapy in hospital patients and particularly the heart patients you know heart patients need music with low decibels and also the one i said is slow tempo you know slow tempo that is 60 bpm to 70 bpm and uh, the best raga suited for heart patients are identified by the uh, raga is uh, nada researchers and they find this malkons asavari <coughs> chandrakons and these are the three ragas which have been experimented um, uh, with heart patients in uh, and it have, it has responded they have responded to these um, treatments very very comfortably and as uh, it was also found that the blood pressure you know uh, can become uh, low in uh, it and it it goes down actually blood pressure um so that which results in slowing down of the heart rate that's very important you know in um, heart patients um of course all this should be done under the supervision of the cardiologist you know it should not be done by any person any quick sorting we are not because it's all um, it's a question of health and it's a question of um, life and and uh, the cardiologist should also Uh, take the responsibility of seeing that um, these treatments rather enhance their patient's recovery and of course there are um, wards like pediatric wards as like a cancer ward i already mentioned um, where the pain perception is high uh, and the child patients you know child patients should be given a lot of diversion and uh, music only can promise um, because we have uh, i have come across certain hospitals with pediatric wards where uh, they organize actually locally some musicians and some um, simple songs and nursery rhymes school songs etc are sung once in a while in the pediatric ward, wards without disturbing the people who are sleeping and um, at least you know the active children are engaged mentally this way and they find it very uh, very nice and they are able to tolerate the harsh ambience of the hospitals and wards well uh, with this word i thank one and all um, who take interest in this music therapy um, throughout india actually we have uh, even formed an association 3 years back indian music therapy association and there are nearly about uh, 
um, over 100 members already there who are all drawn from medical profession, musical profession, psychological profession, and also lifestyle profession. So we do meet once in a year um, in an annual conference and we decide on many aspects. In fact, we have formed about five committees, one committee for Indian Ragas, one committee for Tempo, and uh, there are committees for autistic children, autism, and they are all very actively engaged uh, in finding out solution for the people who are suffering due to various diseases. And I'm sure you will all support our humble movement. And thank you for patient listening. Thank you so much.